Hey guys, it is 60 degrees on November 20th in Northern Indiana slash Michigan. And so we decided to, well, I guess take part of Friday and head out to one of our favorite places, the beach. So it doesn't matter if it's Michigan or Florida, South Carolina, Charleston, <laughs> Folly Beach, that area. We, we always, I think, find ourselves gravitating towards water and towards the beach. And I think there's a uh, there's a lesson in that at some point, but not today. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we just wanted to get away because 2020 and the, the most recent um, updates that are going on in our world um, kind of have us kind of messed up a little bit. So we just need to get away and kind of uh, recharge and re-energize, especially with, it's affecting our kids and that affects us. So I don't know. Well, right. This week, both of our kids um, pretty much had everything in their life come to a crashing halt. Um, school is now 100% virtual again. Which really jacks with our kids because <laughs> yeah. they're, they're like super social creatures, especially Morgan Carter too, but, um, and they're not, I mean, they're doing fine in school, but I think they would be doing better in person. Right. But anyway, so. Right, so school's virtual. Um, soccer has been paused. That's the word we're using now, not canceled. Paused. Paused. Until January. Um, Morgan's dance is also, uh, practice can still happen, but they can't perform. Um, church is online. And so pretty much all in one day, every social aspect of their life came to a screeching halt. And um, it's hard because you, we don't see an end in sight. Like this is not gonna go away um, now or immediately. And I think it's easy to be discouraged and feel disappointed by that. And um, Morgan said, well, why do we even bother opening up? What's the point? And I said, you've gotten to go to dance for three months. And I said, we need to look at every day and find the joy in it. You get to go to dance practice today and enjoy that and find the joy in that. We are so blessed even in this weird year of having to be quarantined and isolated and st stuck at home, um, but we are still so blessed. And so just reminding her and ourselves, like how do we find joy every day in the little moments? How do we just live for today and not worry about tomorrow or the next day or the next day, um, but to live for today? So that's kind of what we've been talking about as a family this week and focusing on as a family. So Yeah, and you also said something to Morgan as we were dropping her off at um one of her practices and she was like well what what if i don't what if this is before we learned that um that they can't perform at games but she was like well what if what if we what if they cancel the season what if, what if we can't perform and your comment to her was well be grateful for what you have right now be grateful that you can go practice and dance today be grateful that you were able to practice and dance all the way up until this point um some of the kids like last year for high school the freshmen and even seen like more seniors didn't get to have a baseball mm -hmm. season all the spring sports right. and so your message to her of be grateful right now for where you're at and for what you get to do right now i think is something that very applicable for today but also like even five years from now when hopefully hopefully right <laughs> hopefully um when everything is kind of resolved and so it's like the the, the message of be grateful because we don't know what's going to happen in the next 24 hours, not only with what we have in our lives right now with, with everything, but also five years from now. We None of us know where we're going to be at, what's going to be happening, how, how long do we have on this earth at this point. Like the message to be grateful right now is one that applies to us right now, but also five, ten, fifteen years from now and I think it's one that that we're trying to teach our kids not only like through words and through like messages and that kind of thing but also just by living it because it's tough seeing our kids be disappointed it's tough coming up from the office and you coming home from work and seeing Morgan cry because she's disappointed with with where things are at and disappointment and sadness is a real emotion that we don't want to like well don't be sad don't be disappointed that's not what we're saying but it's hard for us to see our kids disappointed mm -hmm. and sad and so um we're trying to teach them also by living it and being grateful um because i think that's much more powerful than anything that we can say or any video that we can produce right <laughs> so um 
yeah, I think the message of 2020 for us going forward in our lives, really going forward is to be grateful right now. So I think that's where we're at for us. And today we're being grateful for 60 degrees in November at the beach. Northern Indiana, <laughs> Michigan, November 20th. I mean, come on, seriously. Right. This is a gift from God today 60 for 60 degrees, being so. grateful. All right, so anything else? Nope. I think it's good. I mean, the water, it's blue. The sky is, it's sunny, so we're good. You ready? Yep. Okay, welcome, welcome to, to the, the room. room. First thing we need to do is four eggs broken in here, Carter. While Carter's doing that, Morgan, I'm gonna have you put in three and a half cups of flour. But make sure that you're leveling it off that it's not too full. All right, so you can stir that up. And then it's supposed to fill seven eighths of a cup, which Are you excited to eat your own pasta? I'm hungry. I've never had homemade pasta. You have? You, you've never done that? Well, Seems like something grandma would like to do. I think my mom did make it when I was a kid, but I don't remember. The cashews. Looks like, um, what's it called? What's that cheese called? Parmesan? Yeah. Looks like it's added All right, so this should make it more doughy. How long did that pour? Two minutes. Captain Hook for two minutes? Yep. Or until he's doing. Oh, now it's working. No, no more flour. Just need this all dough. Great, right, I said. I'm seeing it you do like basic math. Like <laughs> What's that? One. You already put one in? She two. put way more than one in. Two. Okay. What's that? It's gonna turn pink. What's gonna turn pink? The sauce. The sauce is gonna turn pink? Yeah. Why? We're putting the whipping cream. Ooh. Okay. 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 It looks just like Howard Umbrella. 
witch. We could have made this. We could have made this while they're here because it's like a California thing, and they're coming. I don't think pink sauce is a California. Well, thing. I you know only have seen it in California. So. You know where the. All right, kids, we're gonna start making the noodles now. Hey, Carter Morgan. Alright, so that dough sat for how long? 20 minutes. 2 minutes. 20. <laughs> okay, we're supposed to cut this dough into fours. Yeah, One seven. cut. Two. And three. Right, so how many people get to participate? Three people. Four. <laughs> Fun. Oh, that's cool. You can't make it so that you can spin it Nope, it's supposed to. So then you fold it in half, and you do it again. Watch your fingers. I know. <laughs> I fold it in half. Yes. <laughs> Got a long noodle. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like, like, like pizza though. You can make pizza with us. Alright, good job. Come back in here, we're gonna actually cut the noodles now. I'm sorry, what? Well, it's not a real dog. Uh, no, Lola's come here. Come. Okay. I'm gonna just do a couple to try it out. How fun is that? And then you just take them and put them like in a circle over here. And sprinkle a little bit of powder, or powder, a little bit of flour on it. A little bit of cocaine powder. Okay. You gotta hold, yeah, the other, yeah. Way, the other side. Yeah, I know. Okay. Good job. Okay, you just kind of curl them up in a little ball on the plate, and then just sprinkle a little flour on them. <laughs> we have a family of all micromanagers. <laughs> we have a bossy. I'm not bossy. You are. Right there. Oh, they don't stop. They feel weird. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? It is fun. Nice. <laughs> this is my mother's thing, I guess. So if you look, in, if you look in the center of this, you ever see those like gangster movies or those Mexican mafia movies where they toss someone into like the meat grinder? <gasps> it looks like watch your fingers. I know. <laughs> You're gonna do that part. Oh baby, you yeah. have powdered sugar. <laughs> you don't need that much flour. Make it run. <laughs> no oh, noodle right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Fettuccine Alfredo. That's LeBron. Jordan did it first. LeBron's trash. I said it. I said it. I said it. All right, so now what? We're gonna boil the actual noodles. No, 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 no. Now we drop it like it's hot in the water. The water is hot. Ah, the water is <laughs> hot. hot. Okay. All right, toss it in there. We may have more than we need. You know what they call that? A pasta bomb. <laughs> what? <laughs> that did not make sense. I'm not sure what's happening. That did not make sense. It's a pasta bomb. It's a pasta bomb. Drop it in there. Carter. 
Um, it's really good. I like it. It's gonna be good. My food thing and all my noodles. Like it. Do you like it? That's good. Pretty good. I'd much rather have this than this one. Yeah. Than store bought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. All right. Well, I think success, right? Yeah. Everybody. Fun. All right. Fun time making noodles. Tasty. We'll never go back to store bought again. <laughs> Ever. We'll see about. Ever. That. Ever. So we're at Target and we're trying to get Boston, our one-year-old nephew, oh, um, a birthday gift. And his mom said to get him some Matchbox cars, even though he's one, it says those are for three-year-olds, but he's always trying to take his brothers and his brother right now is not wanting to share. So that's what we're doing here. Um, and I always like like police cars or rescue type things or Jeeps because you know, we like the Jeep life. So that's kind of what we're looking for right now. Speaking of Jeep life. I know, you saw that's that, right? so fun, yeah. That's a possibility. Dude, check this out. That, this is something I would love. You would love it now? I would love, love it for Christmas. I would love it now. Like this kind of, like this kind of stuff. Now I know I'm meeting up for Christmas. <laughs> This is sick. Yeah, this is. Not for baby. I know. I still. No, I think I'm right. I still love walking through the store and pushing the buttons on these toys. These are. Oh, that's a letdown. This one doesn't work. That's trash. This one? I still love walking down the stores and pushing the buttons. What about these? Pushing dodge buttons. Oh, that's perfect. That's actually... All right, so push that button. Oh, what? Wait, the many batteries. I'll try it. Nope. That's trash. Oh, oh it works. Okay, not trash, sorry. <laughs> hey, babe. It's oh. like That might be better. We could just do this one, because then it has the third one, so it's going to leave on it. Yes. Right? I'm trying to turn the place up. Yeah, that's better. That's perfect. That, and then we got... Uh-uh. Oh. We got that. And then we got that. I think this one right here... At least we'll get this. This one, yeah. Okay. All right, I did come across something that I had when I was growing up. It is a Tonka dump truck, but there's one flaw. One flaw with this truck. Check this out. All right, but there's one flaw. One flaw of these Tonka trucks. When I was a kid, you could take the tires off, but you can't do that now. Who had a Tonka truck growing up and remembers that you could take the tires off? Anybody? Why would you take the tires off? Because it's cool. And you can do it. So were you supposed to? Maybe yeah. they made them like this. Is it fun just to take tires no, off and put it back actually, on? You turn a knob and you take the <laughs> tire off. About that? I don't know what's fun about that. Who like, remembers oh, being able to take the tires off of their Tonka trucks? Anybody? Tonka, come on, you, you better. Let's go. All right, hey guys, we are on our way to Boston's one-year-old birthday party. The kid that we um, shot his pictures last week. So uh, probably see some shots from there. Not too much because we want to hang out with family and not filmed the whole time, but so you'll definitely see some shots, but not a ton. So happy birthday, Boston. All right. Happy birthday to you.
Back to Ryan with a special guest as we wrap up this service. I'm here with my good friend and a wonderful human being, Carter Ruth. Carter, uh, tell the crowd a little bit about yourself. I go to Penn High School. I play soccer. I'm the leader for Boys Group 3, and my favorite color is blue. Yeah, Boys Group 3, shout out. Penn Soccer, shout out, and blue. What kind of blue? What kind of blue do you like? Not Michigan blue. That seems oddly broad and yet oddly specific. What was the biggest thing that you took away from, from Riley's message? Um, the biggest thing that I took away is that it's personal because Jesus loves you no matter what. Uh, what is one step you're gonna take? Um, I'm gonna continue to try to read my Bible every day and just pray for our church and the students and the leaders here and yeah, just pray for all of them. That's awesome. Can we give Carter a round of applause in the chat because he's an awesome leader. He is an awesome leader of Boys Group 3. He's a great soccer player, um, and he's great at sharing what his heart's about. He, th he knows that a relationship with Jesus is personal. So thanks so much, Carter. All right, so here's the deal. Um, if you've watched any of our social media posts, Instagram, Facebook, uh, you've seen the father-daughter TikTok videos. And um, they don't happen just by accident. I mean, I have to learn a whole routine. I nail it, get it down, practice it. I mean, it's gotta be perfect. Cause I'm a dancer. <laughs> Not really behind the scenes workings of how I master our TikTok videos. No, actually, you go here. No, I'll go here. I pop it out. There you go. And then I'll go. I pop it out. We walk in. Yeah. Here, then you go. You go. Except for that. She went. Yeah. <laughs> you went right the first time. <laughs> Are you going right or left the first time? Cross, so I'll go right. I understand. That's why I'm asking you which direction you're going first. <laughs> it takes a lot of work from me. Alright. I didn't even really learn it. I'm just like. So I know! I just like look at it so so long. <laughs> okay, so that's the ending. So, okay, so that's yeah. not. Okay, so it really takes a long time for me to get this. <laughs> All right, last one, we can do it. That didn't work. The ending was terrible. You look too focused. Cause I'm, fo I'm a focused dancer. That's what You're I do. You're not supposed to look focused. I focus. Go. <laughs> oh, That works. Caption, hashtags? Uh, I'm sweating. <laughs> hashtag, Merry Christmas. Hashtag. Hold on, I can't type fast. Hashtag, Stop! Holly TikTok. Hashtag, hashtag, Holly TikTok. Has Holly TikTok? Holly TikTok. That's your side, right? Here comes the hashtag, here comes Santa Claus. Hashtag, here come the roofs. Hashtag, the roof. Yep. <laughs> hashtag. Hashtag. Merry little TikTok. Hashtag. Here comes TikTok. Okay, I'm done. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to make them put them on my own. Put my own hashtags on my own There's Instagram. One, two, three, four, five hashtags. I think we're done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that was. Mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> the behind the scenes <laughs> look. <laughs> And how we make a TikTok video. Oh my gosh. You're welcome. What was that thing? <laughs> Dad, you're welcome.
What is that? <laughs> Who is that? It's with eyeball. Why in, on earth does anybody care about that TikTok? Now I sound like the old man. Why? <laughs> Just why? Did you like that? Oh my gosh. She liked a TikTok of a boy it's, showing his eyeball. It's James Charles. Oh, it's James. Oh, it's James Charles. On a scale of on a scale of one to TikTok, TikTok being the highest, how well did I do? I mean, you can be honest. Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's our. At least she didn't say MySpace. At least she didn't say MySpace. I don't even know what that is. Or, or Vine. <laughs> or. What is MySpace? Or Tumblr. Or like all the other like social media. Y you're Twitter. LinkedIn. Oh, she anyway. called you LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even. So now we're you. using social media as like. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, you're LinkedIn. No, you're Facebook.